need to do Melora's story on stream. Okay, we can, I can narrate for all of us. Well, it's not gonna be pretty. All right, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fancy this. The Saint Sawfall costume is simply sensational. Uh, I don't know how to do th uh. Agreed, looks like our group effort to design a costume paid off. It's not a proper holiday unless your outfit shows some spirit. Uh, it made me think I might have a future in costume making. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, there's too many girls. I can't differentiate. Uh, uh, I, I must say, Melora, we couldn't have asked for a better model. Your proportions really bring out the best in the costume. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest thing? You know, since, uh, how did I do this voice again? Since you're dressed as Saint Starfall, uh, whoops, a fascinating proposition. And trust me, I know my propositions. Now, what would Saint Starfall do? Uh, <laughs> gift giving. Perhaps I'll try giving out some special gifts. A letter sealed with a kiss, or a spare key to my bedroom, or some more worldly pleasures. Which gutter did you unceremoniously scoop that idea out of? Oh, you're no fun. Well, perhaps I can rustle something up a tad more family friendly. As in, maybe I'll quietly slip into the home of a nice, happy family and leave gifts for them. And then. And then. That's it! Yes! And then? And then. In exchange for the gifts, I'll take the handsome man of the house back with me and make him one of my reindeer. Uh, I wonder how can I... Come on, can't you just give up presents like a normal person? But that's so blase. Without anything to spice it up, gift giving should excite the senses and thrill the heart. I'm not sure your idea of a thrill is really in line with the spirit of the season. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what's a Viking voice like? A, a Scottish accent? Oh, what? A Scot accent? I don't know how to do a Scotland accent. Uh, I wonder what I can do to give my interpretation of Saint Starfall a little of that. Oh, such a similar sass. Excuse me, is this Halidum? Oh, visitor, do you need something? Oh, okay, yeah, we... Maybe. I need you to look for someone. We haven't been in contact for several days, and... And... Whoa, <laughs> oh, she dead. Something tells me there's more to than meets the eye. Let's hear it, miss. <laughs> So the person you seek is a lover who disappeared. Yes, he just vanished one day without a word. I'm so worried about him. It'll be okay. Vanessa and the others are all gathering information right now. Uh, and they'll definitely find him, right? Uh, then you'll come back to me. Tell me, was this Boo? Bo? Bo? Bo, bo of yours struggling to make ends meet? I can't hear and hear this. I don't know. Well, yes, actually. He made a mistake at work. <laughs> One that he said would cost a great deal of money to compensate for. And what did you do when he told you? I, I, I gave him all the money I had, of course, and a necklace I was quite attached to. He promised he would turn them to me afterwards. <laughs> Bingo. Classic. <laughs> Mama Octopus. <laughs> what do you mean, Melora? Do I have to spell it out for you? We're talking about the so-called lover of yours. His, his tentacles everywhere. <laughs> it's all time. The KFC carnal voice. Uh, we're back and women. <laughs> Am I furious? <laughs> that seems like an understatement. You'd probably feel the same in a sick which is something absolutely outrageous when we went out to gather info. 
<coughs> it would seem that the only thing our missing lover swims over is cold, hot cash money. What? So he's a... A con artist, yes. He gets close to his targets, feeds him some trumped up line about being pressed for cash, and BAM! He shakes poor ladies down for every gold piece they're worth, then ghosts them. He's had more than a share of victims, too. That's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I knew it. Oh! Oh! So, he tricked me. All according to Peng Lai. Wait, isn't that the name of a person? I had just arrived from Peng Lai, and he was so kind to me in my hour of need. Now I see that was all just an act. I loved him with all my heart, and he played me for everything save the clothes off my back. What a fool I am. Hey, that two-faced creep is the one who at fault here. Don't cry, okay? Don't you cry no more. What, is that a kiss or a hug or a... And yet I can't stop thinking about him. It's mortifying. Wretched! Oh. You silly girl. Love is a battle. And she who falls first loses the war. <laughs> eh, take it easy on the poor gal. However, showing love due respect to the critical love struck is the victor's duty. Uh, you're making this shopping trip very exciting. He who opens a door to the realm of passion to his charge is until the bittersweet end. Love is a legacy he is honor bound to leave behind. Now you're talking, Melora. Mm, yeah. Tell me, would you leave this matter in my hands? I'll catch that miscreant for you. This, I swear. T Truly? But we have no idea where he is. He's hidden himself quite well. That won't be a problem. Just leave it to me. <laughs> you, we, you, oh, wait, uh, you, you certainly seem confident. What makes you so sure? My mother was a bounty hunter, so I've inherited certain weapons from her. <laughs> I'll use them to nab our swindler before you can say the word. A heartbreak. Uh, then, um, I'd really appreciate your help. Saint Starfall. S Star Fox. Done and done. But hmm, Saint Starfall? I dare say I'm too sexy to be a saint. Meaning? Meaning that I will not be known as Saint Starfall, but as Lady Starfall. And with that, I'm off. Ta ta. Lady Starfall? Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Yes! But I may not be a particularly saintly woman, but I am a rather fastidious when it comes to matters of love. This holiday, your gift shall be the satisfaction of a stolen treasure return, courtesy of the great and bewitching Lady Starfall. Okay, man, my head hurts, but this is fun. <laughs> <laughs>